Hello my creative friends. Today I'm going to do a little bit of alcohol ink directly onto a canvas substrate. I haven't done any preparation to the canvas. It's raw. Because I haven't been so well I'll be using a respirator so there'll be no sound because you can't really hear me that clearly through it. And the other thing I'll be using is a compressor air gun. It's only got the slightest pressure and I'll see if I've got anything to talk about after we've done the creation. So let's go. Before we start, I thought I'd show you what I'm using as the air. It is this little air compressor that's attached up to the thing I, you know, I don't know what it's called. I'm learning how to use them really well, but don't know the language behind them. I'll just push it into the 12 volt in a minute. And this is the um, air that will be coming out. And I just thought I'd show you just in case you're going to be wondering. Oh, look at my shaking. Jeez, I'm not feeling so great. Um, there's probably some nozzles and things that I could get that would make it more pointy, but I just sort of haven't thought about that. I just, you know what it's like. You get that desire to go and do the experiment and so you just have to go and do it. So I'm going to turn it on and it'll be quite noisy. Get a, I might just get a piece of paper. Woo! Here go. Here's a bit of plastic. I'm going to blow it onto that so you can sort of see what the pressure is. So that looks like it's going to be good to move the ink around. I'm going to uh, put it straight onto a canvas. As I was saying before, no preparation on the canvas except a little bit of water squirting behind it to make the canvas just that little bit more taut. You know that I like to do that. I'm going to do a line of alcohol sort of down the middle of the canvas and then just start pushing the inks out. I'm only going to be using four colours and I'll show you them at the beginning of the creation. So let's get to it. How many? That's two times I've said that. Let's really get onto it now.
Here he is. It's quite an abstract butterfly. I haven't finished. I'll be doing some brushwork on it um, in a minute and adding some gold highlights. Um, working on the real canvas is really interesting. I think if you see these lines here, I think I'll blend them out a bit more. But look at the line effects. It's really nice. Um, it didn't move as smoothly as it does on Yoko paper or, or tiles. But the way that it saturates into the canvas is beautiful. I mean, look at these lines here. And you can see that when I do a bit of brushwork, um, I'll probably do it in about an hour. I'll just let myself have a really good look at it backwards and forwards. I'll just um, do a bit of brushwork, probably the tiniest little bit of dotting to maybe help encourage this emphasis here of the wing. And I think I'll just probably blend that out and leave that um, just as part of the flow of the um, composition so that I've got a good balance on the substrate, the canvas, which is, by the way, what is it? 16 inch by 40 inch. Would that be right? Yeah, I'll double check anyway and tell you when I get back. I'm really happy with how it went. It, was, it happened a lot quicker than I thought. I thought I'd be working with inks a lot longer. I tend to work them really a lot. Let's see if I can hold some of the button. I shouldn't even be holding the camera, but I'm just trying to find a bit of light just so that you can see the beautiful vibrancy. Oh, I'm doing a really bad job. Anyway, really happy with it so far. Let's go and have a break and come back and do some more and work on it this afternoon and see how we go.
here we are. Here she is. Finished. And I hope you enjoyed watching the highlights and the little thistle flower that she's connected to. She's the spirit of butterflies and I had heaps of fun creating her while you were watching and um, I hope you enjoyed it.